Now, in the past, many tyrants and governments wanted to do it, but nobody understood biology well enough. And nobody had enough computing power and data to hack millions of people. Neither the Gestapo nor the KGB could do it. But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable animals. Data might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. And if indeed we succeed in hacking and engineering life, this will be not just the greatest revolution in the history of humanity. This will be the greatest revolution in biology since the very beginning of life four billion years ago. For four billion years, nothing fundamental changed in the basic rules of the game of life. All of life for four billion years, dinosaurs, amoebas, tomatoes, humans, all of life was subject to the laws of natural selection and to the laws of organic biochemistry. But this is now about to change. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds. But our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. And at the same time, science may enable life, after being confined to, for four billion years to the limited realm of organic compounds, science may ena enable life to break out into the inorganic realm. So after four billion years of organic life shaped by natural selection, we are entering the era of inorganic life shaped by intelligent design. So does the data about my DNA, my brain, my body, my life, does it belong to me or to some corporation or to the government or perhaps to the human collective? Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Free will, that's over. That's over. Over. Today, we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. Yeah, I mean, everything is being digitalized. Everything is being monitored. In this time of crisis, you have to follow science. It's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste because a crisis is an opportunity to also do re good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to, but in a crisis you see we have no chance, so, 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 so let's do it. The vaccine won't help us go the to the The vaccine test, of course. will <laughs> help us, of course. It will make things you know, m more manageable. Surveillance, people could look back in a hundred years Is, 
and identify the coronavirus epidemic as the moment when a new regime of surveillance took over, especially surveillance under the skin, which I think is maybe the most important development of the 21st century, is this ability to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data, analyze it, and understand people better than they understand themselves. This, I believe, is maybe the most important event of the 21st century. One of the features of this fourth industrial revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. The difference of this fourth uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. Uh, just as an example, it's you who exactly. are changed, yeah. and of yeah. course this has a big impact yeah. on your identity. Yeah. And offers certain kinds of possibilities that have to be careful about. You know, yeah. when, you began to, when you began to do that kind of gene editing, some people worry that you are changing what it means to be human. That's the problem. And, yeah. uh, it, uh, of course, the new uh, Industrial Revolution offers us many opportunities, but it raises many fold questions on the ethical, but even legal uh, implications, and we have to be prepared for it, and that's what we want to do in Davos next year. Talk about technology and how the ways it can be deployed, uh, you know, that contribute to growth rather than exacerbate unemployment. How will that implement itself? It's a big question mark because uh, there is a fear that uh, technology, robots, uh, just to take yeah. one yeah. You gain element. productivity from...